Nearly four weeks since the deadly shooting spree claimed the lives of five Coloradans, the community is still trying to heal. Tonight, people came together to show support for the victims and their families. Denver 7's Sloan Dickey joins us live now. Sloan, tonight's event was all about using music as a way to bring everyone together. Yeah, Bayan, those five people who were killed in last month's tragic shooting were honored and remembered this evening through music. They the members of Denver's arts community gathered in the Oriental Theater to raise money for the victims. This has been a very emotional, difficult month. Nearly a month after a shooter killed five people in a deadly mass shooting that spanned two cities and more than five miles, friends of the victims are still mourning. It's hit us way out here in North Denver pretty hard. In the days following the shooting, vigils grew in tribute to the five dead, including outside of Soul Tribe Piercing and Tattoo. But their deaths impacted the art and tattoo community across the city of Denver. Alicia and Alyssa were ones that we knew from Soul Tribe, and then Dan from Lucky 13 Tattoo. Many friends of the victims have strong ties, wearing their connections on their sleeves. A lot of people might judge people because they have tattoos and piercings, and you know it all comes down to it. We're all human. Tonight, that humanity shining bright at the Souls Unite concert at the Oriental Theater. Visitors coming to support the art community that is still healing. The concert was also a fundraiser for the victims and their families. 100% of proceeds today, whether it's from the ticket sales or the auction or raffles, all go towards the victims and their families and hope just help with that impact a little bit. But all the while remembering those who died. This table is dedicated to everybody who lost their lives, you know, um, that day. It's a little, you know, set up for them. Photos of the victims on display. Beautiful people with great hearts, you know who senselessly lost their lives. After so much violence, organizers hope healing will come soon. Can we all get along and love each other and help each other out when we can? And one of the organizers actually just messaged me, he said they've raised about $7,000 this evening for the victims. That fundraiser will continue online and we'll be sure to post a link to that fundraiser on our website. Reporting in Denver, Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.